All right, guys. I went ahead and did it. I, I went ahead and bought a 2009 Yamaha R6. This is going to be my very, very first bike. Um, very first motorcycle, obviously. I've been talking about getting a bike since high school. Uh, every single year, I just keep putting it off, say, next year, next year, next year. But this year, I decided to go ahead and pull that trigger. And what I went and bought was a 2009 Yamaha R6. Uh, it's got about 14,000 miles, so I thought it was pretty good for a starter bike, and I couldn't be happier. I got the absolute bike that I wanted, uh, same color, same year, absolutely everything I wanted. Now, a lot of people kept telling me not to buy a 600cc bike. The reason why I went with a 600 is really because no 300s really looked good to me. Um, I sat on a 300 once, and... I don't know it just didn't really give me the excitement that you know sitting on a 600 did i know that may sound crazy but uh and also my, my brother rides and uh he's he started on a 750 jixer and man i i just said hey whatever I, i'm gonna learn how to ride it uh it's been people i know dudes you know my size that have started on hayabusa's crazy i probably wouldn't do that but um i did start off on a 600 and i think this is absolutely the right move so I'm going to be documenting it all on YouTube uh, and showing you guys me learning the bike, learning how to ride the bike because uh, I've never owned a motorcycle before um, and kind of going from there. Uh, and, you know, as I get good, I'll do more stuff, do more tutorials. Obviously, we're going to do mods in the bike. I got a lot of things that I do want to change on the bike, um, which I'll also be bringing to the channel. And then in just a little bit, we're going to go ahead and show you uh, me riding the bike for the first time or sort of riding. I'm going to be just learning how to get the bike moving uh, in my driveway, really just trying to fill that clutch area. Uh, and then once I start getting good with getting the bike moving, then I'll probably take it out and go ahead and go for a short ride and ride it around the neighborhood. Probably take it to a parking lot working on some slow, slow speed turns and stuff like that. But I couldn't be more excited. Um, like I said, happy about the bike that I bought and I can't wait to show you guys. So I'll be back in just a little bit. And here she is. This is what I bought. Um, this is the 2009 Yamaha R6. Um, it's a really clean bike. Really, really clean. Uh, it's got the tank grips here. Um, obviously, an M4 exhaust. Um, I'll most likely be changing that up a little bit, but you got like the spools, um, fender eliminator. Um, whoever had the bike, you know, kept took pretty decent care of it but it's it's really clean it, it looks good um but yeah this is what i'm going to be starting off on it is in that vivid orange um i love the color man that's probably one of the biggest reasons why i bought the bike it just really catches your eye um so let's what i'm going to do is go ahead and start the bike up um let you guys hear it and we'll get started on trying to get this thing moving and learning on this thing all right so i'm going to go ahead and start it up As you can see, it's got about 14,000 miles on it. Not too bad. Starts right up. Looks really good. Feels really good. Honestly, this bike looked a lot heavier than what it is when, before I bought it, but um, honestly, it's super light. Super, super light. Give it a little rev. And now... We're gonna go ahead and start trying to uh, kind of learn how to ride. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is going like forward and backwards, just getting good with um, with the clutch, learning how to let it out and, and getting kind of, just getting the feel of it. I've drove a manual car, so I understand how important that is just to, to have control of the bike and um, to really know what I'm doing. Um, it's really just, you know, clutch is your best friend. 
obviously throttle control is super important but one of the biggest things is, is you know um, cutting the power to the rear wheel is going to be going to be probably the most important thing so i just want to get really good with that and then i'll start taking it out and learning on that so go ahead and obviously make sure the kickstand is up go ahead and pop it into first gear and we're going to take it real slow I'm not going to be using any throttle just getting the bike moving oh that's that grab point oh wow moves pretty quickly moves really quickly all right and here's my second attempt first first try I did really well um it, it gets moving pretty fast like there's like no absolutely no need for for throttle to get it to take off it's, i mean just in this area um which is uh which is pretty new but um yeah so we're gonna go for the second try and again no throttle and just trying to get it moving and back and forth and the first gear i'm just praying i don't stall this thing honestly <laughs> Man, I went installed. No big deal. Just pop it back into neutral. Roll it back a little bit. All right, so got the bike started again. Um, we're gonna go for the third attempt. I did stall on the last one, uh, as expected. Uh, but I think I got a good idea of where that where that that grab is, that that sweet spot in the clutch. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get going on that. Pop it into first gear. All right. And slowly letting out that clutch. Uh, fully let out. Oh yeah, she moves. As I'm going like six miles an hour. All right, so I'm going on my fourth attempt. Third attempt was really good. Um, I think I'm gonna try it a couple more times just to, to make sure I'm good. Um, I think I got a good idea of, of, of where the grab is and uh, I'll be ready to rock. So pop that in first gear. And man, this thing just sounds good. I can't wait to rip it. Yep, got a good grab. I can try again. I, I don't have to let all, all the way. cool and I think this next time I'm gonna try with a little throttle um, just to see how it is because I, I think I got it under control as far as just the clutch so we're gonna try a little throttle and uh, see what we can do just roll it back a little bit I'm glad I got a long driveway so I can kind of do this So that was a little bit of throttle. Not too much. Oh yeah, I think I'm ready to take this thing out to a parking lot or something. Um, just to get good with it. <laughs> 